want to welcome you back to 10 Tampa Bay and our continuing coverage of Hurricane Helene. I'm Jameson Euler for Caitlin Lockerbie. As we're watching Helene move and fo move forward here, move north toward the Bay Area, mm -hmm. one of the areas of concern has been along the coastal counties, especially in Pinellas County. Our Miranda Parnell was at the EOC a little earlier this morning. She has since moved to Boca Ciega Bay. That's right. We just spoke to folks here at the Emergency Operations Center here in Pinellas County, and they say they are all working together in this room to make sure everyone stays safe. But a part of that is doing your own part to make sure that your home is prepared, that you and your family, your pets, everyone is accounted for and everyone is staying safe. Now, part of those preparations they are saying you still have time. You still have time to get to one of those six shelters around the county if you don't think that you are in a safe area, if you are in one of those mandatory evacuation zones, there is still some time before this storm really starts to come our way where you can make it out there and get to one of those shelters. They're also asking people if you have electric vehicles asking you to make sure that those are safe and secure because those have been known to cause fires after big storms. Moving those electric vehicles that includes golf carts with lithium batteries that includes your scooters and your e-bikes move those to higher ground. And we know that we saw people who were living on boats that had really some issues after Debbie came through the area. They're asking people if you do live on a boat, just go ahead and head out to one of those shelters. Again, the main priority here is staying safe. 